Refugee and migrant children in need of English language training could miss out because of changes to the way the state's public schools are funded. Principals and the teachers' union say cuts to specialist support are starting to hurt programs offering English as a second language. They say teachers no longer have access to training and resources to meet a growing need and that giving schools control over their own budgets isn't helping. There's an increasing demand for English as a second language classes, especially in Sydney's South West, which has the highest refugee and migrant numbers in the state. In this school that I work at, uh, we don't meet the needs already. Uh, this is 98% non-English speaking background, culturally diverse, 65 language groups, and a third of our students, up to 35%, are refugees. Syrian-born Suluf Basha received English language help for one of her sons that also improved her skills. My son like confusing between two languages at home. Teachers say the growing need is being met with dwindling state government help with the loss of more than 30 support officers who provide training and resources. It is biting now, particularly in the regional areas where they're more isolated in terms of their communities. Principals say a new funding system giving them more control over school budgets isn't helping. Even if we have the money, we don't have the people now to go to to get that information and that training. It's a perfect example of what the local schools, local decisions, school autonomy program can do to public education. The union is worried that with no dedicated resources to English language education, all ESL teacher positions are under threat, meaning refugee and migrant children will be disadvantaged. We do not want uh, a country which does not meet the needs of a particular target group, it, it marginalises uh, those young people. The government says it's up to principals to use their school's funding allocation with the students' best interests in mind. Rebecca Barrett, ABC News, Sydney. The latest UN report card on the impacts of climate change predict Australia will continue to get hotter. The ABC